Zerus is a genus of small rodents commonly known as ground squirrels or African squirrels. They belong to the family Sciuridae, which also includes squirrels, chipmunks, and marmots. The genus Zerus consists of several species, with the most well-known being the Cape ground squirrel. Zerus species are native to different parts of Africa. The Cape ground squirrel is found in southern Africa, particularly in countries such as Namibia, Botswana, and South Africa. Zerus species are known for their extensive burrow systems. They dig complex underground tunnels that provide them with shelter from extreme temperatures and protection from predators. These burrows often have multiple entrances and chambers for different purposes, such as nesting, food storage, and even latrine areas. Zerus species, including the Cape ground squirrel, are generally not considered threatened. However, habitat loss and fragmentation due to human activities can pose challenges to their populations in some regions. Xerus species, specifically the Cape ground squirrel, have a size range typical of ground squirrels. Xerus species have a head and body length that typically ranges from 15 to 30 centimeters. This measurement includes the length from the tip of the nose to the base of the tail. In addition to their head and body length, Xerus species have a long, bushy tail that adds to their overall size. The tail length of Xerus squirrels can range from 10 to 25 centimeters. Xerus species are relatively small rodents, and their weight can vary depending on factors such as age, sex, and environmental conditions. On average, adult Xerus squirrels weigh between 250 to 800 grams. The coloration of Xerus species, such as the Cape ground squirrel, can vary, but they typically have fur that is gray or brown. The exact shade of gray or brown can differ among individuals and populations. The upper parts of their bodies are often darker, while the underparts are lighter. These colors provide camouflage in their natural habitats, helping them blend in with the surrounding vegetation and soil. It's important to note that the specific coloration can also depend on factors such as lighting conditions, age, and individual variations within the species. The lifespan of Xerus species, such as the Cape ground squirrel, can vary depending on several factors, including their environment, predation risks, and access to food and resources. In the wild, the average lifespan of Xerus species is generally around 5 to 7 years. However, some individuals may live longer, reaching up to 10 years or more under favorable conditions. Xerus species, including the Cape ground squirrel, exhibit various behaviors that are characteristic of ground squirrels. Xerus species are active during the day and rest or sleep in their burrows at night. They emerge from their burrows in the early morning to forage for food and engage in other activities. Xerus species are social animals and live in groups known as colonies or coteries. These groups can range in size from a few individuals to larger communities. Within a colony, there is a hierarchical structure, with dominant individuals having priority access to resources and breeding opportunities. Xerus species use various forms of communication to interact with each other. They communicate through vocalizations, such as chirps, chatters, and alarm calls, to alert others of potential threats. They also use body postures, such as tail flagging and raising themselves on their hind legs, to signal danger or establish dominance. Xerus species face threats from predators such as birds of prey, snakes, and carnivorous mammals. When they detect potential danger, they exhibit alarm behaviors like emitting warning calls and retreating to their burrows for safety. They may also engage in mobbing behavior, where multiple individuals gather and vocalize to intimidate predators. Xerus species, including the Cape ground squirrel, are herbivores and have a varied diet. Xerus species feed on a wide range of seeds and nuts. 
they have strong incisor teeth that allow them to crack open the hard shells of seeds and nuts to access the nutritious contents inside. They may consume seeds from grasses, shrubs, and trees. Xerus species also eat bulbs and roots, particularly during periods when other food sources may be scarce. They dig into the ground to find underground storage organs, such as bulbs and tubers, and consume them. Xerus species incorporate fruits and various vegetation into their diet. They consume ripe fruits when available, contributing to seed dispersal. They also feed on leaves, stems, and grasses. Xerus species are known to exhibit grazing behavior, especially in grassland habitats. They feed on grasses and forbs, using their sharp incisor teeth to cut the vegetation close to the ground. Xerus species are opportunistic feeders, meaning they adapt their diet based on seasonal availability and local food resources. They take advantage of the abundance of certain food sources when they are plentiful and adjust their feeding patterns accordingly. Xerus species have cheek pouches that allow them to carry food back to their burrows for storage. They store excess food, such as seeds and nuts, in their burrow chambers, creating reserves to sustain them during periods of scarcity. Xerus species, including the Cape ground squirrel, exhibit a breeding pattern that is influenced by environmental factors and resource availability. Xerus species typically have a defined breeding season that corresponds to periods of increased food availability. The breeding season often coincides with the rainy season in their habitat, when vegetation is lush and food resources are abundant. The exact timing of the breeding season can vary depending on the specific geographic location. Xerus species are generally polygamous, meaning that males mate with multiple females. During the breeding season, dominant males establish territories and compete with other males for access to mating opportunities. Male Xerus squirrels engage in courtship behaviors to attract females. These behaviors can include vocalizations, chasing, scent marking, and displaying dominance. Once a female is receptive, mating occurs, usually in a sheltered area within the burrow. The gestation period for Xerus species is typically around 45 to 50 days. After mating, the female carries the embryos internally before giving birth. Xerus squirrels generally have litters of 2 to 8 young, although litter size can vary depending on factors such as maternal condition and resource availability. After giving birth, female Xerus squirrels provide care for their offspring. They nurse and protect the young in the burrow, ensuring their survival and development. The mother may also move her young between burrows to avoid potential threats. Xerus squirrel young are born blind, hairless, and relatively helpless. They rely entirely on their mother for nourishment and protection during the early stages. As they grow, their eyes open, and they develop fur. The young squirrels start venturing outside the burrow at around four to six weeks of age and become more independent as they mature. Xerus species typically have a high reproductive potential, with females capable of producing multiple litters in a breeding season under favorable conditions. However, not all offspring reach adulthood due to predation, competition, and other factors. The survival and reproductive success of Xerus squirrels can be influenced by factors such as habitat quality, food availability, and predation pressure. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for even more viewing pleasure. Don't forget, like and comment. Feel free to share.